Hello, this is Seamus in 7MYW. The other day I was looking for my portable shortwave receiver and I finally found it. It was tucked away underneath my bed, back in the corner, in its little pouch, and I got to thinking to myself, really, looking at this thing, it's a, it's a wonderful little receiver. This one's an old realistic uh, Radio Shack DX380. Takes six AA batteries, does a good job. Audio is pretty decent, has a little tuning knob. I've been interested in getting back into shortwave listening a little bit more now that the, the airwaves have a few more stations on there than they've had over the past decade. Uh, shortwave is not dead, by the way. There's still plenty of stations out there. But um, the radio selection has definitely improved, uh, and they are less expensive than they used to be, packing a lot of features into small little receiver boxes. Then I would like to take this with me, maybe pack this into my luggage or take it with me when I go, go out and listen to something, maybe toss up an antenna. And I got to thinking it's just a little bit large for me. It's just a little bulkier, takes a, a few more batteries than I certainly expected, and it does tend to eat the batteries up. And then well, I got to thinking to myself, well, wait a second, what real difference is there between this portable shortwave receiver here and one of my handhelds, that being the uh, the Yaesu FT3D. There's really no major difference. Sure, uh, maybe the circuitry is a little bit different on this, but the same frequency range that I can receive on this DX380, I can receive and more, a lot more, on my FT3. How do they do? How do they compare? Well, got to tell you, in my testing, I would say in all likelihood that the, the DX380 came a little bit higher when it came to actually pulling out a shortwave frequency and listening to it just a little bit, not by much. Yet the, the FT3 is just an amazing, amazing radio. And, and I'm not going to go into a lot of, of the specs of the FT3DR because most of that's already been gone over on, on the internet ad nauseum. But this amazing radio will cover all of your shortwave frequencies, longwave frequencies, AM and FM. Now it will not cover sideband, but then again, this radio doesn't either. But really, I was able to take this radio, set the shortwave frequencies along with the frequencies that's already pre-programmed with, and put them into a separate band or separate bands themselves in order to scan them or just locate them. It's as simple as hitting band, going to shortwave, hitting band again, and then going through all the frequencies. One of the wonderful things that Yesu did was to pre-program a lot of these. Let's see if I can get this a little bit closer here. As you can see, focus it. They've pre-programmed it with the name of the country and the frequency. Now they don't give you much more information other than that and you can always go in and make your own frequencies which is kind of what I did. Uh, popping back here a little bit you'll see that I added an extra BBC frequency which was not in the uh, original and I also added WWV so that I could check the time stations to see what frequencies might be coming in from different parts of the world. But that's that's the exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I was searching for without having to go and fork out more money from Amazon or HRO or anywhere else that I could get a radio when I could use this. And not just that, I also have the option on the band uh, to, make it, to be able to just tap that and go down to any of the other frequencies that I wanted to set, whether that would be AM radio, FM radio, whatever. So for instance, there, there we are, that frequency band right there, there's my FM, local FM stations, but I also have AM on the same ones. It allows me to just take this absolutely everywhere I want to take it. And I've just got a, a mini communications receiver in my handheld already. I don't have to pay for another one. Uh, another one of the wonderful aspects of this radio in addition to having those frequencies available is that I don't have to hook up a set of speakers to unless I want to if I want to hook up regular earphones to the side you can but 
this is Bluetooth compatible. So I can put my earbuds in and listen to all of these without having a cord or a cable. One thing that I did add to this wonderful radio, which made it even better, that works well for me, is put out, a couple of companies put these out, but I decided to, to purchase one by Sandian. Now sandian has been around a long time. Uh, everybody who's probably watching this knows who they are. They make some amazing shortwave radios, some digital radios. They've, they've got their hands in a lot of different aspects of the radio industry. But this portable little shortwave antenna is absolutely amazing. Uh, I was able to take this out, string this antenna out. I can't remember how, how many feet it is. This is 23 feet. And then just plug that into this, clip to my antenna, and the shortwave frequencies came through. Now, no, they're not going to be like a desktop communications receiver. Absolutely not. It's, it's not meant for that. But it does work, and it allows me to enjoy my radio even more than I would have even thought before. There are a lot of handheld radios like this on the market. Uh, another radio that, that does many of the same things, except it also has sideband, would be the Kenwood D74. Um, it has the, c the capabilities of not only AM and FM, but sideband as well. But this this particular model, I don't actually take out of the out of the house. I, I just am too careful with it. I guess it's it's I treat it with kid gloves because I do know that uh, they don't make these anymore, and getting parts is hard. So I kind of keep it here and use it for local contacts and, and listen around the house. But the FT3DR can take a little bit more of a beating. And uh, not that I beat my radios up, but wow, what this thing does is amazing. Now, I, I'm sure that the FT5 does the same thing. Uh, although its scanning is a little bit different, if I remember correctly from, from the specifications, it still has all of the same shortwave range of frequencies, AM, FM. It doesn't do sideband, um, but uh, it does everything else. And with the addition of an antenna, that can clip on because there are really the only other way would be uh, taking the BNC and adding a BNC connector and stretching that out. Um, I have not done that yet. I will do that eventually, but so far I've only used the clip on, and it's worked well. And I can't wait to take this out, out and about. Maybe when there's uh, an opportunity to go do some parks on the air, I'll, I'll take this with me and, and see what it can do even further. I just wanted to to show how how we pretty much already have small little portable shortwave radios in our handhelds, a lot of us do. Um, it does take it does uh, take a little bit more uh, investment and there's a little more technology and to have a radio that, that has all of these frequencies. The lower end radios, the lower end HTs usually do not have that same frequency range. It does cost a little bit more to do some of these things, but I think it's worth it. So anyway, I wanted to uh, just make a short little film about this, this video about how we really already have these things uh, on our radios. It's just utilizing them. And the fact that we can categorize and tag all of these things into separate banks and scan them makes these really, really valuable. I, I love the FT3. I really enjoy using it. One of my favorite radios. And um, boy, I hope Yesu keeps on doing that and Hope that uh, ICOM and Kenwood could uh, definitely follow suit, although I think an addition of a sideband would be absolutely wonderful in such a radio like this. Um, the newest ICOM does have a, a nice frequency range as well. don't remember if it gets into the shortwave frequencies. Maybe the next uh, Kenwood radio. If you're listening, Kenwood, maybe you can make a uh, successor to the D74 that would have the same type of things, maybe a little bit more. Uh, which you like to see a replacement for the D74. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that uh, like button. Subscribe and let me know what you thought in the uh, down below in the comments. And get your hand held out and use that thing and just run it through all its paces. Find out what it does. Watch the YouTube videos. Do your research and see if what you can uh, what you can do with it. Thank you so much for watching. This is Seamus N7MYW saying 73.